Monday is President's Day, a good time for Americans to reflect upon an important question. In a mass knife fight to the death between every American president, who would win and why? Here's a breakdown from writer Jeff Mix, who's given a lot of thought to the matter. George Washington, commanding presence, strong physique, military training, viewed as a hero by everyone asked to shank him. He makes top 10 without question. My money is on Jackson being the one who murders him. Thomas Jefferson. He'd make a good show of it, but he was a bit of a dandy, middle of the pack, but his dying words would be incredibly quotable. John Quincy Adams. The man had a murderer's face, a murderer's eyes, and a murderer's haircut. Based on these characteristics alone, he makes top 10. Andrew Jackson. His nickname was Old Hickory because he walked around town with a bludgeon that, to the untrained eye, looked like a walking stick. A man who can beat an assassin bloody with a cane is going to be a murder machine when provided with a knife. William Henry Harrison. The man's most famous for dying on his 32nd day in office. Every president after him considers him feeble. He'll be hunted down and eliminated early. Abraham Lincoln was a big guy who knew how to wrestle, and he's the childhood hero of many other presidents. Who wants to be the guy to stab Honest Abe? Grover Cleveland paid a man $150 so he didn't have to fight in the Civil War. I'm going to say he's among the first 20 dead. Theodore Roosevelt, my personal favorite to come out on top. Anyone who gets shot at the start of a long speech and delivers the whole thing anyway has the tenacity to endure more than a few knife wounds. Franklin D. Roosevelt has a pretty impressive wheelchair, and that's going to protect a lot of his vital organs, give him a low center of gravity, and otherwise lend him an advantage not available to other presidents. George W. Bush would team up with his father, George H. W. Bush, and the two of them at their prime would be a match for just about anyone. That said, when George W. Bush stumbles, his father will overextend himself trying to help. They'll die within moments of each other, surrounded by heaps of their foes. Barack Obama is not a scrapper. He tried to negotiate an end to hostilities, and while he was seeking a middle ground, some loon would get the better of him.